what's happening guys welcome back to sense of south jersey for another fragrance video today uh with me kellen so i got something a little different for you guys something i haven't done in a long time i have a fragrance that just arrived and i haven't been getting that many new fragrances i think i got two over the holidays really this one and um aqua de parma colonia club this one though just came in the other day and it's one that is rare it's discontinued it's one that I've seen online only and obviously through you know third-party sites like you know eBay third-party seller sites and it's really expensive like the price of it has jacked up and it's funny because it's from a very inexpensive house a house known to make just cheap fragrances good fragrances at least the ones that I've tried the, the one that I've tried I should say and it's from the house of Pino Silvestre so this is a 2008 release it's a flanker um, and I have it here in the box. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I'm going to open it up and what we're going to do is just check it out. It's not going to be a review. Just going to see what my first impression thoughts are on this scent. Okay, so let's open this box up here. Sort of started it beforehand, you know, just to get the sides, but we'll, we'll, we'll cut it right down the middle. This was a, or is a uh, 4.2 ounce bottle. It's not brand new. I think it was about 98% full. And the guy was selling it for 25 bucks. So I just bought it uh, off through Mercari. And here we can take a look, take it out of the cellophane. And we'll take a look at that box too. So bright yellow box, looks a lot like the Pinot Silvestre vintage box. Got a nice pattern there, you can see. This is pretty cool. And what do we got here on the back? Sport Cologne. So it's 125 ml. It is a you know spray bottle here, and I I don't know is it a cologne or is it an eau de toilette? You know how like they just call it cologne. It's for, I think it might be an eau de cologne. I'm not sure. So open this up here. It's got the French wrapper that comes up, and we'll take a look at that bottle there. Look at that that pine cone. This is like a looks almost like a like a almost like a bee it reminds me that's how bright yellow it is too so you got the pine cone look there nice looking box um let's see what to say on the bottom here what do you guys see here we got it is made in italy it is does not say the concentration oh it is an eau de toilette okay so it is an edt it's an edt just called sport cologne so 2008 is when this one was released apparently it's supposed to be very similar to the from what i've read original pine tree Pinot Silvestre, but just a slightly more of a citrus take on it. And you can see there in the middle, look how that sprayer is kind of jacked up to the side. So you know when I spray this, it's just gonna blast off to the side. It's not gonna come out straight too. So let's check it out. This will be my first spray for this scent. Nothing yet. Yeah, it definitely smells like the original, but with like sort of the the fresher take too. So, wow, it's pretty good for what would normally be an inexpensive scent. This is pretty good. Hmm. Okay, I, what I wanted to do first was give you guys the notes for this scent too, which I didn't. I just went ahead and sprayed it. So in the top, you have tangerine, ginger, and pettigrain. And then in the mid, you have orange blossom, carnation, and magnolia and then jasmine sambac and then in the base you have tulu balsam vetiver musk and amber why does amber have to be in there so i you definitely get some of the orange and, or the tangerine i guess and some of the ginger that's starting to come out now but it also has that pine undertone so this is pretty cool i actually i actually like this so far um, again, I don't know about his performance because I've never you know, worn it before. I don't know, you know if I'm going to like it in the long run or if I'm going to if it find it too similar to things I already have. So far, no, because it's got that tangerine and that ginger. That's interesting. I don't really have a lot of fragrances with ginger in it too. And this is a 2008 release, but it definitely it it, with, it you know holds on to its old school vibe. Um, that I, which is what I love about Pinot Silvestre. And the original Pinot is basil and pine. Like it's like the Italian, old Italian woman spice cabinet. That's what you get with this one. It's a little bit more um, updated, but still sort of has that old school vibe to it. I could see this being like a, it almost, it almost, and this is going to sound weird. You definitely get the vetiver too, but it almost has a Terre d'Hermes kind of vibe to it. 
that's going to be, you know, I know it's a, a long shot, but that's sort of what I was just reminded of when I sprayed this one. So this is definitely going to be going to the gym with me and to work. That's the first two places I could imagine wearing this thing. Sport Cologne by Pinot Silvestre. So obviously this is an off the cuff video. I don't really have much more to talk about with this scent. Uh, however, I am seeing it online for prices of like $150, $200, which is ridiculous. Like I would have never bought this if it were not for the fact that I got it on Mercari. So I went on Mercari a while ago, saw a seller that was selling two bottles of these and an original, all the 4.2 ounce bottles. And it was went for 20 bucks, but it was sold. And I was like, oh, what the heck? Then I went on eBay and everything on eBay is always more expensive. So um, randomly the other day, I was just like, let me just search it again on Mercari. Boom, there it was. One guy selling it for 25 bucks. I didn't even bother making an offer. I just bought it before anybody else could get it because I wanted to try it. And so far, I'm glad I did. It, it's, it's nice, um, you know, again, there's, uh, uh, if you guys wanna see a full review on this, let me know in the comment section and I will totally do it. If you don't care, you don't care, but it, it's, it's, it's good so far. I, I enjoy this one and I like Pinot as a brand. I like how inexpensive it is and how they stay inexpensive, but they got that classic vibe. Now they have a, a bunch of other flankers, most of which I haven't tried, just as the original and this one so far. But this one, this one smells really nice and it, it's, it's very casual, sporty, um, but very classic at the same time. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for me. That's my first impression of Pinot Silvestre's Sport Cologne. Again, the 2008 release. Check out that box again in that bottle. Let's spray a little more here. Um, let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think of the fragrance? Do you like it? Have you ever tried it? Do you think it's worth the price that they are charging on eBay? I certainly do not. I would love to hear from you guys. What's your fa favorite, excuse me, Pinot Silvestre scent? Um, you know, I always appreciate all the interaction. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the Instagram page and the TikTok if you have one. And let me know if you want a full review on this. I'll absolutely make one. Uh, I think I might down the line because I definitely see this getting some, you know, wear out from me for sure. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.